Well, coming up, the dream of every young baseball fan. Muriel Clare shows us how two lucky youngsters became bad boys for the Chicago Cubs. Tonight, our Stationwide for Kids' Sake campaign takes a look at a job coveted by just about any young baseball fan, bat boy to the Chicago Cubs. Actually, it's filled by two local teams. Muriel Clare reports it's a dream job that also offers some hard lessons in the game of life. The best. Line drive, left field base hit. Ever wonder what the real truth is behind Sean Dunstan's phenomenal performance this season? Well, wonder no more. Dupree McAtee, the self-anointed Cubs good luck charm, is taking all the credit. Ten minutes before a game, maybe before he goes out to warm up and stretch, I rubbed his head. And just recently, I've been working. Every time I rub his head, he'd be hitting the ball and his average study going up. McAtee is a bad boy. Raining good luck on the team is not what he is paid to do. He and Jason Brzezinski, both 16, both juniors at St. Benedict's High School, are paid to cater to the players every need. I think the hardest thing about the job is uh, cleaning the player spikes on muddy days. Um, you have to get off all the mud, wipe the shoes off, shine the shoe. It's pretty difficult. For a game, we have to get their fan mail together, take all the coolers and stuff out before the game, wipe the benches down, and just basically have to be around just in case the boss needs something or some of the players. Both boys say it's hard work, but the perks are many, not the least of which is a chance to go on a road trip with the players, usually to the West Coast. That was more the glamorous part, because we didn't have to do any work in the clubhouse, because there's already guys that told us to enjoy our vacation. Players took us out to breakfast and lunch and dinner, showed us around, took us to the shopping mall, bought us all kinds of clothes, things like that. Material rewards aside, the bad boys say their job has helped them in more important ways. Because it teaches you self-pride and teaches you how to manage yourself well. It made me realize a lot of uh, things. I mean, you have to be thankful for what you have. I mean, all the players thank God for getting them where they are today. And I'm, I'm thankful for, to God that uh, they let me uh, associate with these players. Andre Dawson goes into the Hall of Fame. I could say I did meet him personally. I did work with him at one time. For kids' sake, I'm Muriel Clare. Larry and I are going to try and swap jobs with those two kids. <laughs> and now here are some events that you and your children might want to attend this week. The 37th Annual Columbus Day Parade will step off tomorrow, Monday, October the 9th, in the Loop. The festivities begin at 1 p.m. from the corner of Dearborn and Wacker.